never comes out of the house and uh, nobody talks to him. Sometimes I see him outside, I say, hi, how are you? And he says, hi, how are you to me? How are you doing? And that's it, There's really not much. He doesn't like to talk to anybody. He's closed in the house and he wears always a rope. He used to be out, but since the past five, six years, he never comes out. His family, his wife and kids, unbelievably nice people. He's got two daughters and a son. I think maybe even three daughters. He has twins and another daughter and a son. They're all older now in their 30s. The son still lived at home. The wife was super, super, super nice. But this guy was always, he's just came off as being grumpy and disgruntled all the time. Easily aggravated, would scream at gardeners, would scream at postmen, would scream at me, would scream at the neighbor. But never did any of us think he was violent. Evidently, Somewhere in the last few weeks, something snapped, and now he's got dementia all of a sudden, or he's had it for a while. And when the hydro guys came to put that meter in, he got all upset and pulled a gun on them. The hydro guys took off, called the cops. The cops showed up, he took a shot at them. So they called the SWAT team, and that's when all hell broke loose. In this window, we noticed this was broken out. I don't know if it was recoil from the gun, or they just try to open it so fast. But you can see from this window they were shooting into these windows and that door. But again, the glass is now broken and you can't see the holes. They were there. We're pretty sure this is where they got them with a the rubber bullet. Yeah. The, the, the police, they were good, you know. They, they, they have a problem. It was a very delicate situation for them and I feel bad for them, really. They, they tried their best to please everybody. Yeah, I never had the issue with him, he never had the issue with me, you know. There's no... I guess I'm a friendly guy, so I always knew how to talk to him. <laughs>